Hi guys, here's another day in my life and how much I spend living in South Korea. I started my morning with an arm workout, uh, grinding beans, because I was out of instant coffee and I, to be honest, I didn't want instant coffee anymore. I was like, I want real coffee. So I started out with an arm workout. This is gonna take around like 10 minutes, so I actually just went onto my couch and I started scrolling through TikTok um, while I was grinding the beans. But once I was done grinding the beans, I busted out my mocha pot to pull a fake shot of espresso if you guys don't know what a mocha pot is it basically makes like a fake espresso shot it's not an espresso shot but it kind of mimics the taste of espresso it's a concentrated amount of coffee i'm gonna chill this for a bit because i want an iced coffee but if i pour this over ice it's just gonna water down my coffee without making it cold Went back into bed to edit some videos and then I got a message from the DHL like delivery service saying that they needed the passcode to my front gate to deliver a package. So in my head, I'm trying to remember like the keypad. Dude, listen to my phone call. I legit said only one word the whole time. Ah, oh, Bro, what the fuck? My sister didn't order anything. What did I get in the mail? Okay, I thought it was my sister's stuff that she ordered because she's been ordering stuff for my mom to take back to her when she goes back to America. Like, she's ordered, like, a couple of clothes. So I thought it was her stuff. Like, more stuff were coming. It says makeup brush in the description. My name is on the package, but I just thought my sister used my name for shipping purposes. Because that's what she normally does. PR package. Oh, I wish I looked cuter for this video. It's from a Korean beauty brand called Lily by Red, and I kid you not, I have always been an avid supporter of their pen liner. Check all my old TikTok videos, and you'll see me use this eyeliner for my wing because this is the most waterproof like liner I have ever used. And then I used their gel liner on my upper waterline for tight lining. Doesn't go anywhere. These two, the most waterproof liners i have ever used i've never used any other products other than their liners but i now have this this is what the package looks like it's filled with three eyeshadow palettes uh four lip tints three stickers as well as three nail polishes thank you so much yes style and lily by red for sending me this beautiful package i'm excited to play around with it here's some up close shots of the colors Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this was my first time using these coffee beans in a mocha pot and I was so confused at the color of the coffee because usually the coffee should come out darker than this but it was so light. Before my mom left, she washed some strawberries for me. It's the most Asian thing that a mom can do. Anyways, this is my first meal of the day. It's hanul dogani tang. It's basically Korean bone broth soup. Um, if you saw my previous video, this is what I got from Target. All right, don't be freaked out. It's very gelatinous, but that's how bone broth becomes. It's cooked very well. So yeah, it looks a little freaky, but like once it starts boiling, it starts turning back into soup. It's really good and really healthy. I should really start making my own rice because I've been relying on these microwavable rice for way too long. But yeah, as you can see, once it starts coming to a boil, it does go back into a liquid form. Yo, to be honest, this was my first time trying like dogani. I, I don't like this part of like the beef. Apparently, like that's supposed to be the good like part where it has a lot of collagen, I think. But I'm not I'm not a fan. Like the texture is so jello-y and I don't like it. So I just picked out the lean meat parts and then I'm just eating it with like seaweed as well as some leftover chokbal from last night. I'm filming a TikTok right now, but I thought I'd also film like a horizontal version so you guys kind of know what happens behind the scenes of a TikTok. <laughs> JK, I sound very stupid, so I'm just gonna tell you what the TikTok was about. Uh, it was a story time of a TikToker I was gonna meet for lunch, or actually dinner that day. If you guys don't follow me on TikTok, here is the story. Basically, I've been mutuals with this one TikToker for a while now, but we've never engaged, never interacted. But one day I joined his live, and in his live, and he was like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm going to Korea in next month. And that's when I commented saying like, oh my god, hi. And he was like, hi, Anna in Seoul, let's hang. And I was like, I'm down. In his live, he said the specific dates he was going to be in korea but to be honest i kind of like forgot about it i just knew he was going to be coming in april because he said he was going to be going to korea next month so i was like okay for sure but like i said i forgot about the dates but i kid you not to 
two days ago, he popped up in my dream, and when I woke up, I was like, oh wait, it should be about time he comes to Korea. He should be in Korea soon. So I went onto his Instagram because I wasn't his mutual on Instagram, and I saw that he had a story posted. And when I clicked on his story, it said he landed in Korea the day like he popped up in my dream, basically. And I was like, whoa, that's so cool. And then I DM'd him saying, hi, he popped up in my dream. You're in Korea. He was like, yes, I am. Like, let's hang. And I was like, for sure. And I told him, I was like, yo, I have a very flexible schedule. Like, if you're free, when you're free, like, let's hang. And he was like, yeah, me too. I'm free today. How about today? And I was like, yeah, for sure. So yeah, that was my story time as I was getting ready. We were supposed to meet during the daytime, but he eventually postponed it to like later nighttime for dinner. So here's me actually getting ready to go to a cafe to get some work done. This is my fit for today. These pants are from Yes Style. I fucking love them. And these are my earrings. I've been obsessed with these earrings. I don't know what it is. I've been wearing it seriously every single day. Anyways, this is my entire fit for today. The shawl cardigan, as well as my pants, as well as my bag are from Yes Style. Anyways, headed down to a coffee shop to because I had a lot of work to get done to be honest I was to the point I was getting a little bit overwhelmed with how much work I had because to be honest I've been lacking I've been slacking off because uh, I don't know All right, if you're wondering what I squirted into my coffee is actually liquid stevia I know some people are divided regarding liquid stevia or just any artificial sweetener I've been using it for like the past like five years. I'm perfectly fine. Hopefully I am But yeah, here's me getting overwhelmed slowly getting into the group of things and knocking off my to-do list one by one Let's fucking go. I ended up switching seats because I needed the outlet this is a cardigan my mom bought while she was in Korea but I'm taking it from her after getting some work done, I just headed back home because I had some time in between um, dinner. I changed my cardigan, headed on out, took the bus to go to Samsungyuk because I was going to meet the TikToker at Coex. He said he wanted to go around Coex, but there was truly nothing to do at Coex. So we came to Gangnam to get a Korean barbecue and the person I'm meeting is Chef Boy Lee. <laughs> aka Kevin Lee. He's a chef content creator, ex Michelin chef. <laughs> I honestly don't know how much dinner came out to because he actually paid. Thank you, Chef Boy Lee. So I said I got dessert, so we went to Baskin Robbins. You were probably wondering why the hell did I take him to Baskin Robbins when it's available in America? No, no, no. This one's a nice one. It has 100 flavors, or so we thought. There's too many flavors. There's too many. There's 100. There's a Korean flavor. Pikachu. How does anybody choose? I know that one. It's ice cream. Because you can't get that in America. For 100% sure you cannot get that in America. Yeah, but this looks like regular Rocky Road. This, I can get this. I have this shit in America. This, you know, this is rare. That, I would, that was my second choice is this one. But oh. I don't it's too refreshing. I need something. Okay. Uh, Put it in. I'll get this. Okay. I want, I want to walk. Nice. Waffle cup. See, we don't have waffle cups anymore. Really? It's only a cone or just a regular. Oh, I didn't know that. That's new. Okay, so this one is my favorite. Okay. I'm gonna get it so you can eat some of it. Let me see if there's anything else. Is that this a hundred? Is that a hundred? It doesn't want this is I think 16. they have a hundred, but not all hundred at once. Okay, sixteen. So no no no. Sixteen. Sixteen. Thirty-two. 48, uh, 64, 68. Oh. This place is a lie. It's a scam. <laughs> it should be called Baskin 68. You're dumb. Yeah, it's still a lie, but... The reason we went to Baskin Robbins, even though there's Baskin Robbins in America, is because this one right here in Gangnam is legit. It's like fucking huge and it has 100 flavors. So I was like, you have to still experience Korean Baskin Robbins because it's different. So we went here. Drop. All right, Baskin 68 flavors. I'm gonna try, this is your favorite flavor? Yes. What's it called? I'm on the pong All right, listen, I'm a chef. I'm a harsh critic. I'm gonna be honest, okay? That is good. This will be crunchy. Mm. That is good. Right? Baskin Robbins, I'll say, better than the American Baskin Robbins. <laughs> Okay. But this is the flavor right here. The American flavor. What is this called? 
You rice? got sartok? Sartok rice. Yeah. This might be a mistake, but we'll see. Dude, you have really pretty hands. For a chef, not bad. Right? My hands are abused do, all the time. Do, do people say that? Sometimes. Weirdos. <laughs> only weirdos say that. <laughs> yeah. I like yours better. It's very sweet, actually. I'm not upset about it because it's different. Try it. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you gotta have bad stuff. It's not bad. So I don't regret it because I can't get some American. Wait, no, have people really told you like you have pretty hands? Sometimes, oh my god. Let, <laughs> let me show you guys your hand. Like, you don't have hair. <laughs> I don't have hair. You don't have hair. I'm not. I'm not begging. Like you're a naked moron. <laughs> this hair. It's like okay. What I what I call it to as pretty hands is like veins and knuckles. But your fingers are skinny too. They're not thick and girthy. Yeah. More nimble is better. Nice. <laughs> fat fingers and scan the way of the knife. If you follow me on TikTok, you might have seen this as well. Chef Boy Lee said he wanted the Korean experience, so I was like, let's go to a Korean photo booth. I gave him a rundown of how it operates, how you could fix yourself up here. You could use all these costume props. You're so cute. If somebody has lice, and I put it on my head. Now I have lice. Look at how cute they are. Look at this one. Look at Stickiness is not sticky. I'm a homeless man with it, right? For... Look at oh, this, it's not sticking though. So many people have tried it, that's why. <laughs> yeah. It's so worn out. Hey. These pandas. Yeah, it's great. When's the last time they washed this stuff here? It's very important to actually choose your background color. There's purple, there's gray, there's dark blue, there's also pink. If I was trying to just have fun, I'll pick the pink one. Okay, let's go pink because you blend in too much with the gray and the That is true. It's too okay. safe. Okay. <laughs> yeah? We were fighting to pay for the photo booth, but uh, Chef Boy Lee eventually paid. Thank you so much. If you're wondering how much does it cost, it costs 4,000 won. I like this one. I'll let you pay. I'm cool with any of them. Maybe one of these. I feel like these are kind of similar, so which one? I like this. <laughs> okay, we'll do it. And, get the middle. and then you pick the last one. Let's do this one. Okay. I know, I like the pink background. It's not bad. Right? I would say black or white. Completed the Korean experience. Black pink. Let's see it. Oh, you're right. Black pink. Okay. Nice. Nice. I'll save this forever. <laughs> As we were trying to find the photo booth wrappers, I found out that freaking this place has Jo Malone perfume just chilling for people to use. Like, yeah, I'm just I know it's just like <laughs> Oh, they have another one here. Anyways, found the wrapper. Chef Boyley was struggling. Here's how our photo booth pictures came out. Uh, afterwards, I ended up walking home because I really wanted to walk to, to help digest the Korean barbecue we ate. And that was pretty much it. That was the end of our day. Uh, people are, are kind of making fun of us on TikTok, but... Yo, did you guys know Chef Boy Lee is 36 years old?